In this After Effects tutorial, I'll show you how to create these swipe transitions. Hi, my name is Manuel. We'll combine drawn elements with graphic shapes to create a unique animation, so stick around. You might want to download the project file as well. I love to combine different styles and techniques, so I decided to draw the swiping hand in Adobe Fresco on my iPad. You could also use Photoshop on a desktop computer or use a simple graphic shape or a pic of a real hand. The base is a rough scribble, to which I added some kind of bright skin tone color. Then I scribbled details on top of that with a black marker, added shapes. Anyways, I wanted the hand to have a rough, scribbled look. Finally, I exported it as a PSD file. Now let's start animating the transition in After Effects. I already added a background layer with a 4 color gradient effect. With no solid selected, we grab the pen tool and draw a path from the left of the screen to way over here to the right. We want it to have a slight curve. Nobody would ever swipe in a straight horizontal line. Let's quickly name it stroke 1. Alright, let's go to 48 frames and set a path keyframe. Then we move to the beginning and move the right point to the left. Shrink that handle down. And let's move this left point a bit as well. We go somewhere in between here and scale up the stroke width until the whole screen is covered. No fill by the way. Let's open the stroke property and go into the taper property and set the end length to maybe 15% here at the beginning. What this does, it forms like an arrow. Along the way we want this end length to increase slightly to maybe 27%. Let's move the first keyframe to 0 frames, the second one to 48 frames. Awesome. Let's add effects. First up, wave warp. To make that shape a bit more interesting. Wave type sine, wave height around 80, wave width around 250. Direction is the direction of movement. Speed, let's keep it 1, pinning all edges to get rid of these wavy borders. And let's add a gradient ramp. Oh, almost forgot. Let's set that wave warp anti-aliasing quality to high. Alright, we start the gradient ramp here on the right with yellow and end it on the left with a very red orange. Next, this animation needs some dynamic. We press U to see all keyframes, select them and open the graph editor. Make sure the snap icon is activated and edit speed graph is selected and start to form a smooth speed curve by dragging down the two points and pulling its handles to the middle at the same time. I snap to the zero line at the bottom. Let's see. A slow start and end. Always good to compare it to a real life reference. Now we duplicate the stroke layer and link the path of stroke 2 to the path of stroke 1. Press U to see just the keyframes. We increase both end length values, the first one to around 30, the second one to maybe 60 and set the blending mode to add. Then we go back to the middle and change the wave warp settings. Let's add a negative height. Increase the wave width. Let's make it a tiny bit faster. And finally we change the gradient color slightly. Let's go more into the pink direction. Awesome! I repeated that two more times, adjusted the effect settings, set the blending modes back to normal for stroke 3 and 4, instead changed the opacity to 50%. We go to 48 frames and adjust the path of stroke 1 to make sure the screen is completely covered with the last stroke. Alright, looks nice for me. Let's add our drawn hand to the comp. I import it to After Effects as a composition, retaining layer sizes. And if we go into it, there are all the layers. We don't need this green background. Let's add it to the main comp and scale it down. And we need to link it to the right point of stroke 1. Therefore we select the path, go to window and open the create nulls from path script. 
and select nulls follow points, which creates two nulls, each for one point. We don't need the left one, so we delete it. Then we link the hand comp to the null, which follows the right point. Set the position to zero. Then we grab the anchor point tool and move the anchor point somewhere here, to the center of the fingertip. Should have done that before, we need to set the position back to zero. Let's shrink it down a bit more. Now we need to rotate the hand. At the beginning, maybe minus 12 degrees. Set a keyframe. After it left the screen, maybe around 10. Let's adjust the speed. Always good to compare. And adjust. Much better. This transition is missing some depth, so we add a black solid, name it Shade Soft, and move it below the hand. So the light is coming from up here somewhere. We grab the Convert Vertex tool and draw a mask. We start here at the fingertip where it touches the surface, then spread out going down. Then go up again and close it. We set the mask feather to 100 pixels and the opacity of the solid to 50%. Mm, we need a second one, close around the fingertip. We add another solid, name it Shade Hard. Move it below the hand and draw a small shape just around the left corner of the fingertip. Set the opacity to 50% as well. And the mask feather to 30 pixels. Maybe 20 is even better. Wow, this makes a huge difference. Don't forget to link the two shade layers to the null object as well. Awesome. One last thing, if you want to reveal footage, simply duplicate stroke layer 1, move it to the top and move it maybe 12 frames to the right. Remove the gradient ramp and set the stroke color to white. Add your footage below, where is it? And use the white stroke layer as alpha mat for your footage. On the left side I've added some videos you might like, so see you there in a second. Subscribe to my channel on the right side, I'd really appreciate it. And hit the bell to get notified when my next video is coming out. Thanks so much for watching, see you in the next video, bye!